How to create hyper-realistic charcoal drawing. First layer. Draw the deepest lines with charcoal pencil. Second layer. Smudge the lines with tiny thick brush. Third layer. Add more charcoal powder with the brush to thicken the lines and edges. layer. Using a beauty blender, add a light layer first. Fifth layer. Again thicken the rest of the lines. layer. Add shadows with brush and charcoal powder. Seventh layer. Add small texture lines with a sharp charcoal pencil. lines that's actually first layer. Blending with the tiny thick brush for thicker lines without defined edges. layer. Again add a thicker lines dot to the wrinkle textured skin. Look out for the direction of the wrinkle texture.
layer. Use a blending stump to a depth to the lines that we just draw. Tiny brush to add shadow and smudge with charcoal powder. Soft brushing to give a well blended look, which helps in the realistic look. Tenth layer. Again, give a slightly harder strokes with charcoal pencil for the skin texture. layer. Again smudge the lines through the edges of lip to create shadow. Twelfth 
player. Now this is an important one, this contributes to the illusion of highlights and shadows. Using a mono eraser, erase and create thin white lines aside of the thick black lines we drew before. Make sure the edges of the eraser is sharp for fine lines. Give thicker white lines along the thick black lines and thinner along the thin black lines. Also provide a soft bubble-like shape in between the lines. Layer. Softly brush the highlighted area to give a well-blended look. Although it's too simple to be layer, it is kind of an important one. 14th layer. Using the tiny brush and charcoal powder, darken the areas with depth to create the shadows. More soft smudging would do good. 15th layer. Use the mono eraser to create more highlights. This set of eraser strokes will be more highlighted look, compared to the previous set which in fact creates the realism. thickness with sharp charcoal pencil to certain nodes and branches of the wrinkles dot dot ps not all the lines smudging through the edges of the lips give you a bumpy effect Sixteenth layer. More shadows with bigger brush. Final layer. Final touch of darkening certain lines for depth with charcoal pencil. That's the final look above the lip area. Make sure to try these tips and techniques in your artwork, if you're passionate enough to watch Tokyo and give me your reviews. 
Thank you for watching.